Underutilization has been an issue in data centers since data centers have been around. Um, even pre-virtualization, especially pre-virtualization, servers were often one-to-one. -one. In addition to this, there's been a lot of overbuilding. So five, ten years ago, again, people built with the expectation that they would need a lot of server storage and networking. Uh, but because of those efficiencies, they've built these large data centers that maybe they're only 25% full or 50% full. So they're having to power these buildings with heating and cooling and power equipment. Um, when in reality, the space is mostly empty, so that's extremely, extremely inefficient. Powering equipment that you're not fully utilizing is clearly inefficient for any organization, whether it's the data center or whether it's IT infrastructure itself. Uh, it's cost inefficient for the capital, obviously, that you're outlaying for that hardware. You need to maintain that hardware, you need to pay power bills, you need to pay water bills, which are at a high premium uh, these days. So from a cost perspective, underutilized hardware obviously has its disadvantages. Data center efficiency comes in many forms. PUE, power usage effectiveness, is of course the gold standard metric for facilities level efficiency. There are a number of ways to drive PUE lower, but really they fall into two main areas and that's power and cooling. And again, it's higher utilization that delivers efficiencies here. Increasing the utilization of power and cooling systems that support a data center's critical infrastructure will increase its efficiency. However, some of the largest efficiency gains happen at the design stage before a data center is built, where efficiency is designed in. And where we're seeing this most of all, some of the most efficient, the best run data centers are the mega scale internet hyperscale facilities. Hyperscales are driving new approaches to the way data centers are designed, built, operated and managed. They're leading the industry in efficiency. Hyper efficiency is not just for hyperscale data centers. Although hyperscales do have some advantages over other data centres because of their sheer scale, there are important innovations being driven by hyperscales that are also available to other data centres, including large colo facilities. But they tend to be available only to new and larger data centres that tend to be run by forward-thinking companies. An example of innovation in cooling is chiller-free data centres. By designing a data center not to have a chiller, it can result in huge efficiencies. Chillers are expensive to install, to maintain, and they're terrifically power hungry. On the power side, there can be great efficiencies from decisions around how the power is distributed. So inside most data centers, power is usually transformed from the utility grid as medium or high voltage down to low voltage before it's distributed around the site. It's usually distributed in low voltage ranges, typically around 480 to 600 or so volts. In hyperscale and progressive data centers, however, they distribute power at medium voltage, which allows for the transformation of utility power to occur closer to the IT load. With medium voltage, it's usually brought to the racks at more than 4,000 volts. That's 10 times or more than today's typical data center voltages. Medium voltage saves on infrastructure, power losses, and cabling costs. The most significant of these savings can be from the copper cabling. So since about 2003, the price of copper has risen by nearly 400% on the commodities market. And this has pushed up the price of data center cabling. Medium voltage distribution reduces the current for the same power load, which means fewer power losses and importantly, thinner copper wires. Using medium voltage is the single biggest way to save in power distribution in data centers. So to give you a sense of the scale of savings, let's take 100 feet of data center cabling 
That might cost about $100,000 at low voltage, say 480 volts. But at medium voltage, it would cost just a fraction of that, about 12,000. That's a savings of nearly $90,000 for the same power load over the same length of cabling using medium voltage versus low. Now that's just for 100 feet of cabling. Large data centers with dual power distribution can have thousands of feet of copper cabling. Medium voltage also means less heat is given off, so therefore less spare capacity may be needed. And this is becoming more and more important in modern data centers, which increasingly are becoming more modular with build-as-you-go designs. But with power efficiency, it's not just about choosing a higher voltage, it can also be using a medium voltage UPS. Medium voltage UPS is extremely efficient. In addition, medium voltage UPS also reduces components such as switch gear and cabling, while still providing very high reliability. For example, a medium voltage UPS can provide uninterruptible transfer between the utility and the backup generator without the need for paralleling switch gear. Ride through times can be tailored to permit startup, then soft load transfer to the backup generator for full protection through an extended outage. So in other words, no compromise on reliability and very, very efficient. Medium voltage is an advantage that's really only available to large new data centres. Smaller data centres don't have the scale to benefit, they will stay at the lower voltages. And for larger legacy facilities, the economics of ripping out existing systems and replacing them with more efficient ones, it doesn't make sense, it does not add up. In reality, medium voltage is not a retrofit technology. It's been exploited by forward-thinking companies that have data centres that have been built for purpose. Ultimately, it means that the customers of these data centres can take advantage of the types of hyperscale efficiencies that they probably couldn't otherwise get in their own facility. Those are the ones that will benefit. It may not be sexy, but voltage is terrifically important when it comes to low cost, highly efficient and highly reliable data centres. For colos, only the most progressive, leading edge providers are using medium voltage distribution and medium voltage UPS.